Welcome to BT Travel. I am your host, Sabrina, here to guide you in all things Barbadian and vacation. Today we're in the beautiful Golden Square Freedom Park to chat with one of the artists, Onika Small, about her beautiful mural, Shards of Life, and give you guys a bit of history about Golden Square Freedom Park and the climate pain movement. Born in Trinidad in 1904 to Barbadian parents, Clement Payne was an advocate for the poor in Barbados. He was a leader in the labor movement and encouraged workers to join the trade union. He lived in the era of street corner politics. Golden Square was the stomping ground for the man who later would become one of Barbados' national heroes. The government of Barbados has established the Golden Square space and artistic installations to commemorate his memory and celebrate his legacy. So we're here with Onika Small, one of the artists here at Golden Square Freedom Park. Onika, tell us about this beautiful mural called Shards of Life. So we have on the blue layer the present day people who form part of the community. Ah, I see. There are this this, mural, this person here is Carla, she was the site engineer. She's one of the younger people who worked on the site and she was really happy to have her photograph taken. And then I photographed and did line drawings from different people who I interacted with within the community. The idea is that even though the way we use a space or the things we use every day will change, that humanity and our human conditions remain the same. So our emotions are forever going to be part of existence as long as humans are there. So in the different layers then you would see there are pieces of us that will remain. So 300 years from now there may no longer be a golden square but there are going to be humans here in Golden Square or within this site who may be using it for something different. So that's the main concept behind Shards of Life. I absolutely love the concept of Shards of Life. I can now see it. I, I saw it before but I never noticed the separation connected to each generation Correct. and each piece is pieces they have left back. Correct. And then this, this piece here which is done with coral render and um, limestone, this is actually pieces of the original or the map of Bridgetown. So, really? So, <laughs> it's like in different orientations so this is actually the real concept of the land use changes within a particular space and how we humans interact in the space. So there are different things that happen within the concept. You have done an amazing job. Thank you. It was a team of us. We were really hard under some really harsh conditions sometimes. It was a great experience, but it also feels very joyful because as an artist, it is not easy going in Barbados or anywhere in the world, but Barbados especially because we're not very high on the totem pole. So it makes me feel happy to see all of the art actually in Golden Square Freedom Park, the big rocks that Juliana have done, Akim and Aishi. Just so many artists, I said, have been enriched by this process and this project that it feels good. And like you, I would like to see so many more freedom parks, mushroom, yes. different parts in Barbados. So we go on the East Coast and we yes. part with more artists getting more employment and more work. Included in the park are the Vessels of Dreams, Builders of Barbados Wall, a Community Wall, Shards of Life, and a 1937 Memorial Wall, which were unveiled on November 29, 2021. You too should take the time to familiarize yourself and enjoy the ambience of the historic space that is the Golden Square Freedom Park. <laughs>